Hello everybody, this is a very large object here and I'm giving you a review of the M1 MacBook Air. Um, now this computer has been the darling of the internet. Um, I'm sure just about anybody has heard about the reviews of it and the general, you know, uh, benchmarks of this device. Now, I don't want to give a lot of benchmarks here. Um, I just wanted to give you more of my general review of it, uh, my day-to-day -day usage. Now, this device is incredible. It is beyond impressive. Now, everything about it is, quite frankly, astounding. Um, now, the keyboard is no longer the butterfly, heinous switches. Um, uh, and now they switch back to the scissor ones, um, just as it should have been um, since 2015 with the MacBook um, Retina. Now, the, the touchpad is just the same as the old MacBook Air um, from 2018 when that first that got refreshed. So that's solid state. Um, I am I'm pretty even pretty impressed because I I never really used the Mac before um, up until this <laughs> this uh, this machine uh, came into my hands. I did buy this machine. No one sent this machine out to review. Um, it is my personal laptop, and I, I'll be doing my best to make sure that uh, it gets a lot of use. Now, when it comes to the overall performance of this laptop, it's amazing how much it's like an iPad or an iPhone where you open up an application and it's open. You don't wait about five, you know, five seconds or so to wait for the little thing to open up. Um, and a lot of people say, "Oh, it's it's missing the bounce," you know, <laughs> that the older Macs had. Now, I do want to mention this, and I want to mention this fairly early in the video. Is if you're looking for a, a laptop that can run Windows, I would not look at this laptop. I wouldn't look at this laptop because it's, quite frankly, uh, not going to fulfill that task. It's not Apple's fault. Um, it's more of Microsoft's fault because the Windows on ARM isn't exactly something that's being developed for. Um, and, quite frankly, I think that's a, a shame, really, um, because ARM can offer a lot of things, battery if it battery efficiency and overall performance gains um, being able to uh, have much lower thermals and better you know overall uh, thermal design there now when it comes down to windows on arm you can run it in parallels and there's technically a way you can use an emulator as well um, outside of parallels ACVM, I think, is what it's called. Um, but both are rather lackluster because uh, Windows on ARM, half the applications don't work, and the ones that do work are so sparse that I don't think any professional is going to be relying on Microsoft's uh, app compatibility there. Um, so that being said, I do think the... The Mac, as long as you are looking at it from a Mac perspective, um, where the applications that you're looking for are supported on Mac, you should be okay. If you're a creative type, perfect. Everything should be just about squared away with that. Now, if you're looking at it from a point of view of a of a uh, creative professional, if you're someone who does a lot of photo editing, um, wants to color grade their pictures, uh, the MacBook Air is something that you can look at as well. Um, it has a P3 display, just like the MacBook Pro, which is as much, it's a $300 more um, brother, and it shares the same resolution as well. Uh, the only thing that's lacking is the brightness, but it's only by 100 nits and 
400 is definitely enough. So I can play a few games on it. I have played Minecraft and uh, Pillars of Eternity, um, and they both perform fairly well um, as long as it's an app on Steam. Uh, you should be able to play it without any issues um, as long as it's um, supported by Mac. Um, so you don't have to worry about, oh, well, this was designed with an Intel chip in mind. That's really not a big concern. Um, and then if we look at uh, video editing, by the way, um, this video is going to be edited in Final Cut Pro on this laptop. Um, I do have a desktop, and that does use Kaden Live um, because I don't um, I don't really care to subscribe to the Adobe Suite, and I don't have five hundred dollars to spend on Vegas. So that being said, my computer has a thirty six hundred X in it, a Ryzen uh, five, of course. Uh, that's six cores, twelve threads. And I have a 5700 XT um, in it as well. It is not one of the reference designs. That's like a jet engine and hot. Um, it is a proper, you know, um, AIB card. Now, my desktop does the H.264 encoding in 2 minutes and 10 seconds. Um, and my MacBook Air does it in 2 minutes and 5 seconds. And the MacBook Air doesn't do any transitions. I, I mean, it does all the transitions, uh, whereas my PC does not have any of them. No transitions in it because I couldn't find an equivalent in K, in a Kaden Live um, that I could find in Final Cut. Now, I did try to do the render, um, and I did see it all the way through, um, all 40 minutes of it, um, on my Windows laptop. Um, it is uh, about three years old or so. It's a 7th gen Intel U series. Um, and it does have a dedicated GPU, um, NVIDIA uh, card. It's around equivalent to a 940MX, um, which isn't that terribly far behind the 1050 Ti or 1050 equivalent card that's in uh, the MacBook Air. Um, so... I believe uh, that GPU that's in this thing is just uh, far uh, higher rated than um, most want to give it um, credit for. Um, now, that's my general general thoughts on all this here. The performance is great. It's thin. It's light. No fan. It's, you know, like... Nothing much else to say there in regards to its um, overall uh, performance there. Um, uh, the speakers are great. Um, that's something that was mentioned before by plenty of other people. If you are familiar with how a Mac sounds, um, you will not be too terribly surprised to hear that it is phenomenal and I don't really need any external speakers to be plugged in. Uh, to be listening to music or whatever I'm watching on my laptop. Um, and this computer, I can thank for me being able to actually make more videos now. Um, I am going to be doing more videos. There's going to be a review of this little bad boy right here. Um, uh, the blue uh, microphone. And I'm doing a sort of, is it still worth it? Um, in 2021, uh, I guess now, um, being the end of the year, as it is. I hope you guys have a great new year, and I'll see you guys on my next video.